Ms. Velasquez, uh, I think all of the witnesses have made a reference to 11 million. Um, I hear it everywhere I go as if it's a homogeneous group. Um, and, and we know it's not. And you made reference several times to the 11 million. Would you agree with me that those members of the 11 million who can't pass a background check shouldn't be on a path to anything other than deportation? The, maybe the people maybe the people that don't pass a background check, but I do believe that there should be a pathway for the majority of the 11 million. Well, now that's a very different from what you said earlier, and that's kind of my point. Uh, my point is all 11 million can't pass any background check. All 11 million of any category of people, from preachers to members of Congress, can't pass a background check. Mm -hmm. So why persist with the talking point of 11 million when, when we know that that's disingenuous. All 11 million don't want to be citizens. All 11 million can't pass a background check. Mm -hmm. And even if you can see that, then we get to the details of what the background check is going to look like. For instance, if you were sitting where Mr. Amade is sitting, if you have a conviction for domestic violence, should you be on a path to citizenship or a path to deportation? Well, I can only argue for, for my sake and my parents' sake. I... No, 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 no. With all due respect, you, you advocated on behalf of 11 million aspiring Americans. You're, you're not a difficult fact pattern. Ms. Rivera is not a difficult fact pattern. So the talking point of 11 million aspiring Americans, I'm not interested in, in, in that. I, I'm down in the details mm -hmm. of what does a background check look like. Do you think a conviction for domestic violence should disqualify someone from being on a path to citizenship or status? I think I'm going back again to that's up to you all to decide. And, and, and well, if it's up to, to up us, then why do I constantly hear 11 million if it's one monolithic homogeneous group? Why? I mean, why not just say what you said? They're Which all... is there are subgroups that, that warrant different levels of scrutiny. For instance, children who were brought here with no criminal intent, that warrants one level of scrutiny. The parents who brought them here who can fashion criminal intent warrants another level of scrutiny. Those who have misdemeanor convictions have one level of scrutiny. Well, those who have multiple misdemeanor convictions have a different level of scrutiny. Those who have felony convictions have a different level of scrutiny. Why is that not the more honest response than to talk about 11 million aspiring Americans? Well, honestly, I'm, I'm in no position to tell you who deserves what, um, I, I, and I don't know what you would do. How would you decide that one person deserves something that the other doesn't? So. Well, it, it, it's not hard for me. I, I spent 16 years prosecuting people for domestic violence. That's a disqualifier to me, even though most states consider it a misdemeanor. So with all due respect, the devil is in the details. Right. The, the, the bright line... You know, people don't have any trouble with that. The devil's in the details. I'm out of time. I'll just say this on behalf of all, all, all four of you were very good, persuasive witnesses. Even, even if I don't agree necessarily with everything that's said, I think you're here in good faith. You've contributed to the debate. When I see quotes like I did today from someone named Dan Pfeiffer, who apparently works for the president. I think it's the same Dan Pfeiffer that once said the law is irrelevant. And he tweeted out today that our plan is to allow some kids to stay but deport their parents. He summarized this entire debate with that tweet. So I want to compliment you and thank you for not being a demagogic, self-serving political hack who can't even be elected to a parent advisory committee, much less Congress, which is what Mr. Pfeiffer is. I want to thank you for not being that and understanding these are complex issues where reasonable minds can perhaps differ. And with that, on behalf of all of us, uh, thank you for contributing to this, uh, to this issue. Does